Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Now this is gonna be a quick, quick video. This is my first time shipping a money bouquet. We're gonna see how it turns out. The customer's like, I trust you. We're gonna try to make it together. I just wanna support and get a money bouquet from you. So I'm gonna show you guys what I am doing. This is my first time trying to ship a money bouquet and I'm very, very nervous, y'all. Like, it's crazy, so I'm gonna show y'all I had to, first of all, find the proper box. I'm going to show you what box and what size that I did use. And then it's an extra little box that I'm going to put in the inside. But I'm going to stop rambling. Shout out. Love you guys. Be sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Shout out. Welcome to the family. If you're new here, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, I had to go to UPS. I did go to Walmart first to see if they will have a box. Because, you know, Walmart is always more cost efficient. But I did go to UPS. Shout out to UPS for having different box sizes and everything like that. The box was uh, $7.65. So just make sure if you do potentially want to melt your money bouquets, then make sure you add your box cost and everything in here. I, this box is a, I think it's an 18 by 18, to be honest. Oh my God, there's no size on there. Oh yeah. So this is 18 by 18 by 18, okay? So, let me see. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. About to give myself a... Uh. Okay, so 18 by 18 by 18 is in there. We are shipping this money bouquet. Uh, I am going to have to cut the bottom to make sure that um, when I close it and take the top, that it doesn't interfere with the triangles that's on the outside, y'all, okay? So, I found this little box that my man got in one of his things. He always orders stuff from Amazon, okay? Every day, we got a new package, but that's a whole nother story. So, what? I'm going to create something to keep the bouquet steady, Okay? So I'm gonna stick it in here just so when it's going through transit, it's something in there. Cause you know this box is wide. The part I'm gonna have an issue with is making sure that it stays in the middle. So we're gonna figure this out together, y'all. We gotta figure it out together, but this is the base that we're gonna put her in, but let's cut the bottom and we're gonna fold it cute to where it look like it belongs. So what I'm going to do is kind of like pinch the bottom. I can kind of like eyeball where I want it to where it will still fold over. So I'm just going to cut. You'd rather cut not enough than too much because you can always go back and cut. You can't add paper. Okay, so I think that's perfect. And what I'm going to do is fold it like a present and bring it in. Fold it like a Christmas present, y'all. And we're going to bring it in like this. And we're gonna tape it real cute, okay? We're gonna tape it. But I'm gonna fix it to where it looks like it belongs. It was made that way, okay, y'all? Cause we're not doing no mumbo jumbo, you hear me? We're gonna fold her like this, like a Christmas present. tape and I'm gonna add one more piece of tape and now you can sit it in there without you thinking that it's gonna bend up in there so this is what it looks like now and you can also do this for like the regular way if you want to you don't have to necessarily keep the paper standing out so yeah okay so we're gonna do that so now it's going to sit lower In your base and it's kind of like this is a perfect i need to measure this because this is the perfect size to go in the middle uh, of the bouquet okay so we got that part so now the hard part <laughs> so now what i'm gonna do is get some tape and fold it and i'm gonna put it at the bottom of the base box so I'm gonna stick it on the bottom of the little box. 
Hopefully this work, y'all. I'm so nervous. And then I'm going to put it directly in the middle of the main box, okay? You know what? I'm so silly. <laughs> Be sure and secure and tape the bottom of your box. Mine's not secure enough. This is the tape that they did at UPS so we can see. Uh, yeah, I was tripping. Take the back, take the back, back. So now, what we take. This little box. We are going to stick it right in the middle. Take our bouquet. Wow. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is tape the side of the middle box and tape it to the floor. I hope I'm explaining this right, kind of like so it won't move in the back. So it'll stay upright like that. Oh, it looks like we on to something. And I'm gonna do it on both sides. And also, wherever you mailing it through, make sure that y'all put fragile on your package. I wish I could show y'all the inside of the box. Would I do this again? I don't think so. Inside of the box, in the floor. Now we're talking, okay? Now we're gonna put stuffing on the side. Let me get some stuffing. So for me, I'm gonna use my local Walmart trash bag and we're gonna stuff the side. Hopefully it's enough, y'all. I be using these as shower caps, but you know, I'm just gonna stuff. I don't think I'm gonna have enough stuffing. Okay, y'all, so I had to come back and add to this video because I don't think I will ever ship another money bouquet ever. The package gets to them tomorrow. So I finally shipped it. It cost me $98 and some change to ship this bouquet. And it's because of the size of the box. So if you watched the previous part of the video, it was an 18 by 18 by 18. So it's like, okay, I get it. But the box was only two pounds and it's $98. Of course, you want to do signature confirmation. The signature confirmation was only $4.55, okay? So if I add shipping to my website, so if you order a bouquet and I add it to my website, it might give me a bigger discount. So shipping will probably be $40 or $50. Um, but me just going to the post office, if I did it with UPS, it would have been way higher. And they go by the size of the box and not really the weight. So the post office was like, the lady at the post office was like, I don't even know why it's this much because it doesn't weigh anything. But they were going by the size of the box, baby. She did it like three times just to help me out. And I appreciate her at the post office. Uh, so luckily my client was like, I was like, Hey, I'm sorry for the delay. It took me a little bit longer to ship the package because I was trying to get different prices. So I had already upcharged them 35, like $40 because I knew it was going to be around that price for me to ship it. Not knowing that it was going to be $98 and some change. So the customer was like, Hey, don't worry about it. I'm going to go ahead and send you a hundred dollars off GP. I just like your work and I really, really want this bouquet. And I was like, Oh my God, like, thank you. Now, will I ever ship again? No, no friend. I don't think so. Until I can figure out a more cost efficient way to ship these, I will only have to do these for local people 
And yeah, I just have to tell y'all experience. If anybody were thinking about shipping bouquets, it's a no for me. That's why I tell people that I don't recommend you shipping. And oh, let me tell you this. When I got there, I was asking the post office, it was like, hey, can we put fragile stickers, fragile stickers on there? And they was like, oh, we don't guarantee fragile anymore. We don't have the fragile stickers anymore. And I'm like, okay, well, what if it was like some plates or something or anything like that? She was like, no, ma'am, we don't do that no more. And so I'm like, well, shoot. And then when she gets it, she puts it on the scale. She fli She's flipping the bouquet, like she's flipping the box. Like, I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Uh, see, and, I, and that's another reason why. So the package gets there tomorrow. I will do an updated video tomorrow. Um, and hopefully the customer sends me pictures and videos of how it came because I'm really, really nervous about that. And I already told them that I wasn't for sure how it was going to come. They was familiar with it and all that type of thing. And it's like, eh. I don't know. So I'm tracking the package. They're tracking the package. So hopefully it goes how it's supposed to be. Like, yeah. Yeah. So that's my experience with shipping my first money bouquet. And yeah. I don't know if I'm going to do that again. Okay. I love y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe, comment, like this video, comment what y'all want me to do next. And yeah. See y'all. Bye.